So something strange happened to me while I was playing Among Us. So today I encountered something that just didn't make any sense. I'm sure by now you have heard about No Visor and his brother Yes Visor. Two brothers who rule all of Among Us. But each of them want control. But none of them have found success. And when I was casually playing Among Us, I stumbled upon a strange player. His name was Visor. I have never heard about this player before, up until now. And this player is hiding a secret that I need to tell you. So make sure that you watch until the end. You won't believe what happened. And if you enjoy my content and want to see more videos like this, let's try to reach our goal of 30,000 likes. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button with the bell icon turned on. That way you won't miss out on any of my videos. But now, let's begin. So it was an early morning and I got online to play a match of Among Us. I joined a lobby with the name of Ethan, which had four players. But when I got into the lobby, there was just one player. No one else was around him, and his name was Visor. I found this quite odd. I've never met someone named Visor. His appearance was also very similar to that of No Visor and Yes Visor. Two brothers who don't get along. I then noticed that Visor sent me a message in the chat, and all I could see was Visor. Since it was early in the morning, I wanted to avoid all sorts of trouble, so I left without saying a single word. I was now looking for a lobby to join, and I went with Nate, and Visor was here, standing next to the computer. I opened the chat and Visor was sending his name, over and over. I was now starting to believe that maybe he has some sort of connection to no Visor and yes Visor. But who exactly is Visor? He's a great crewmate, and he hasn't moved at all. It was taking a while for the match to start because it's usually slow in the morning, since nobody is awake. I was a crewmate, and when I spawned in, there was a player on the wall. He wasn't moving until he completely vanished. So I entered the vault in hopes to find him, but all I could see was two crewmates doing a task, and right behind me was Visor, staring at us. I wanted to stick with these crewmates to be safe from what Visor was trying to do. And throughout the entire sabotage, Visor was right next to me. Luckily, a body was reported, which gave me time to process my thoughts. But it was really hard because all I could see on my screen was just Visor. Since I didn't know who the imposter was, I just skipped. But everyone in the lobby voted for Visor. No one even mentioned him in the chat. He was now ejected and he was the imposter, even though I didn't see him eliminate anyone since he was right by my side. Since I didn't have to worry about Visor, I went to go do my task, but communications was sabotaged. The door was closed and nobody was opening it, and even after we fixed it, the doors closed again. The imposter has to be near. But since there's other crewmates around me, I should be safe. I did a wire and engine and I had to go over to showers since I had to task. But communications was sabotaged again. But this time I didn't have an opportunity to fix it because the imposter took me out in front of everyone for no reason. Even though he had a chance to win the game, he went after me. And all I could see in the chat was Visor, Visor, Visor. Even after all of that, the crewmates tied the vote, almost as if someone has control of what's happening. As a ghost, I got to witness the imposter eliminate one of the crewmates, with Visor witnessing all of it. Since the body was reported, I knew justice was about to be served. But the only thing I could see in the chat was one word. Visor. 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 And we now finally won the game. When we got back into the lobby, I didn't expect what was about to happen. Visor was banned. I guess the other players took notice of his actions and weren't the biggest fans. So now I can peacefully play without having to deal with any problems. I had six tasks to do this game, so it's going to be very time consuming. So I quickly got to work. And when I got to the lounge, the doors were already opened. Which I found quite strange, but whatever. It shouldn't be anything to worry about. While I was in electrical, a body got reported and Nate got ejected. He wasn't the imposter, so then Cyan got ejected and he was the imposter. Let's just say that there was a lot of arguments happening in the chat. Which is bound to happen on this game. I now finally had the opportunity to finish my task in electrical. And while I was in the center, I could hear a noise. 
It sounded like breathing, but I thought it was me, so I ignored it and continued to finish my task in electrical, which does take a while. I then tried to check cameras, but communications was sabotaged, so my screen was completely gray, and when I could finally see the engine room, I saw a gray ghost. He was really close to the camera, so I made my way over there, but then the doors closed on me. I was now getting really worried. What could be happening behind the door? Cause whoever's controlling the doors doesn't want me to see. I hesitated a bit, but I opened it, and I didn't see anything. But then the lights turned off, and as I was trying to leave, I saw something behind me. It was a ghost. His visor was half broken, and he was gray, something that I've never seen before. A broken visor? The ghost disappeared but I went over there where I saw him and he was gone. Didn't leave a single trace but a body was immediately reported. I told the crewmates that it was visor and that I saw his ghost and creep was sending me weird messages. He said oh cool Chari, can't wait to see you in the afterlife. What do you mean? He sent me a few smiley faces and said whoever dies, dies in real life too. You guys are weird. I close the chat to ignore all of them. This lobby is one of a kind. I'll put it that way. I still had several tasks to do so I quickly got to work. But every location that I would go to, the doors would always be closed. But I didn't let them distract me from the fact that I had to finish my task. I uploaded the data outside and the lights turned off and I could see a ghost watching me out in the distance. I ignored the ghost and I got back to work. Whoever that is, I don't want to give him any attention since he wants to be a problem. A crash course was called which is one of the most annoying sabotages but luckily I didn't have to fix it. The crewmates got it done. I was now finally done with all my tasks and I was now watching vitals but then yellow got me when I least expected it. Luckily purple got to see yellow vent and Creeps was just in the corner, in the dark room that can be found on this map. Luckily, Purple told the crewmates that Yellow vented, and I could finally leave this lobby. This lobby was by far one of the strangest that I've ever encountered. I got into the map of Scaled, and there was a lobby with the name of Visor. So I joined to see if it was the same player that I saw in the beginning, and it was. Visor was of course next to the computer, and he wasn't moving. I also noticed that he set the room to private, almost as if he expected me to join. I then saw the notification, and it was a message from Visor. No Visor and yes Visor, stop fighting. Listen to your father. Wait. You are no Visor and yes Visor's dad? Visor said yes, I'm their father. Um, you say that they're fighting, where are they? They are a ghost, just like me. So that's why I can't see them. And he said yes. And Visor then left the lobby and left me alone. Everything around me was getting darker. It was to the point that I couldn't really see the computer. And when I could finally see, I saw no visor just floating there. Everything around me was now getting bright. To the point that I thought I went blind. And when the light went away, I saw yes visor. The two brothers were now fighting. Using their powers and trying to get rid of each other. But that is when everything around me froze. Including no visor and yes visor. A gray light covered my screen, and when everything went back to normal, I saw Visor, the father of No Visor and Yes Visor. He broke up the fight between the two siblings, and then vanished. And this was my first encounter with Visor. If you would like to know what happened next, let's try to get this video to 30,000 likes. I do also want to give a massive shout out to Kitty King for helping me produce this video. If you want to support a smaller creator, make sure to go check out his channel and subscribe to him. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more Among Us story videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button with the bell icon turned on. And check out these other Among Us story videos that are found on my channel.